Welcome back, episode 129, Ever Visited, and a guy we have not talked about in so very long, for good reason, obvious reason. Well, he, he hasn't he really sucks. done. No, he sucks. Well, the, the those two things are, can, they can go exist, but he hasn't really done anything, so it's, um... So yeah, this is definitely an older video of his, seven years ago. Seven, my good. How, how long get to his channel? Okay, yeah, this was about, yeah, this is a year into his channel. Mm. This is fresh, fresh. We are talking about why Naruto was better than you think it was by Mother's Basement. Um, yeah. I, I realize we haven't actually done a lot of Mother's Basement, and yet, yeah, no. it's just like He makes a, an impression. He makes an impression. Uh, you, you, if you've seen two videos of his, you've seen every video he's ever made. Have we seen two videos of his? Yes. We saw the My, My Hero, Hero Academia Hero one. And we the saw JoJo. Juj Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, and the JoJo. So that's three. Yeah. This is the fourth. Maybe even the fifth? There might have been something. My Hero, JoJo, Jujutsu Kaisen. Dang, I haven't started the content creators playlists on the channel like there's something else. it feels like there's one more it feels like there definitely should have been this can't just be the fourth from mother's basement brand of the channel yeah um and oh uh demon slayer a kinder kind of shonen if you say so yeah i remember the live stream <laughs> if you say so I just um uh, I just need to hear some of it. Um, How long ago was that? In Slayer's narrative, creating a consistent through line through all of its fights and the theme. That's all okay. it We did it two years ago. He did a twenty-minute video on Rui versus Tanjiro. Oh no! no! It's gonna be the thing. No. I guess, what? I guess we're going to be doing a sixth video on Mother's Basement at some point in the future. Today on Anime Lee, we examine a breathtaking battle that made Demon Slayer Anime Kimetsu Lee. like Demon, Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba and Otaku oh my God! household Nade in hopes of figuring out what exactly made it so dang special. Nothing. The color is pretty. No. Oh no, he's doing the thing. Oh Dude, no. it's 20 minutes to 19. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it starts at 11 minutes and it just goes and Oh no. Dang it. What do you okay, mean, dang it? Fine. <laughs> Adding fine. it to the last. <laughs> Love them. How long ago was that video? Four years ago. Jeez. No, how long ago was it in terms of October? And I think it, it came out in August. Mm -hmm. So at least a month was put in between. Yeah. But it was October 19th, 2019. It came it's out. It's everywhere. It's all coming together. Uh, yeah. What? Maybe we need to look more into Mother's Basement channel. Nah, it's fine. Um, he did a Mulan train review. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Um, description boys, DH, stop going through his channel. You just told me. Like you said, <laughs> no, we're fine. And then you just kept doing the thing. We will not be doing any of his Jujutsu Kaisen stuff. No. Jujutsu Kaisen. I wish I cared more about Jujutsu Kaisen. Because we'd be... It, it, right it, now, it, there are tears all over the internet. It's, it's just... The video is just... It's, there's not my hero being made like Jujutsu Kaisen. And what's the... What's up? Uh, people are turning on it. I know. And it's funny. <laughs> The turn is always funny like this. What was that? Yeah, uh, that was weird. Yeah, the, the turn is very funny. Always funny. Um, Naruto gets a bum rap. It's no One Piece. It's no Bleach either. It's definitely no SAO. And I'm not going to say that because they paid me. This video is sponsored and approved by Naruto Online. Play that. 
uh, Patreon, blah, blah, blah. Um, no, obviously no. My feelings, our feelings about Naruto have been made perfectly clear over the years. Yes. Um, it's, Isn't, it, it's poopy. It gets worse when you think about it. Subsequent thoughts, and, just deeper and deeper, you just go, nah. Not enough Naruto fans are thinking about Naruto. There, are, of course, the haters are thinking about Naruto because they and hate it. So Naruto sucks. But as far as like, hey, Naruto's maybe not as bad as you guys say. Hey, Naruto's the best. Hey, no, they're not thinking about it. Though, may I think Oceanus thinks about it, and one day we're gonna have to actually tackle his video. But for the most part, these people are not thinking about it. Um, and I was thinking about it because. There are times where I just go back and and look at things that I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, Naruto versus Kimimaru was one of those things that I did not remember. It's fine. And I went, did Naruto do a Rasengan in that fight? No. No. And why not? Had to preserve his energies. But he did a hundred clones. Does that take his energies? Why? Because either it would have devalued the Rasengan by not hurting Kimi at all. Which it would have. Or it would have hurt Kimi. And then it would have just been like, oh, this dude stinks. Which it wouldn't have. <laughs> so there's, so just don't do it. <laughs> like, I was just sitting there like, what? what? It makes no sense. Though you could have had him do it and just dodge it and not hit him. But if you have 50 of them off doing it, because Sasuke does the big fire and then all of them dissipate except for Naruto, who is not hurt by the fire and a clone. Who is not hurt by the fire? And then they do the Rasengan. They're not in proper Naruto, a Rasengan barrage when there should have been. Like, you know... But why? Dumb, dumb rock man! Uh, just stealing chakra... Oh, uh... Jigon... Uh, Jigon? Something like that. Yeah. A uh, Jerobo. J- no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But he just... Uh, they get out of the thing and just crossing God to the face. s rank Jutsu is gonna hurt him, which means he sucks. Or it's not, and the Rasengan sucks. And then um, he eats a full pill anyway to restore his energy right afterward. He just doesn't do it, and you can't just be like, it's to preserve chakra, because it's not. It is. It can't be. So just thinking about that, you just go, oh no, no, just just no. Or yes, I guess yes, but also no. I rest my case, Your Honor. Guilty. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, let's just get into this thing. I've been thinking a lot about Naruto lately. Why? (laughs) Because it's... The the highs are easy to think about. You, if you like Naruto... I mean, okay, I, there you go. If you, you like hey. Sasuke versus Itachi, you think about that. Oh my goodness. It was a Genjutsu inside of a Genjutsu inside of a Genjutsu. He broke and now we actually Sukuno. fight. So you think about that and just go, yeah, cool. You know, was it? To the people that think about it, they think about it. You think about cats? It's too much. I'm sure. I've had I've had three people come up to my and point to because I got the sticker of two cats 2019 is good actually. <laughs> and two three people. One of them was at the con that I went to, and two of them at my job. Like, really? <laughs> I, I expected one of them was like, yeah. So we got a conversation. A legitimate dozens of us. <laughs> no. <laughs> There is one we do. demand to be taken seriously. <laughs> but I, I, I'm like, I want a conversation with somebody about the merits of cats. And I'm sitting here trying to defend myself as I'm trying to work. No, don't do this to me. Then take the sticker now. No, <laughs> the people need do you, to know the truth. Do you think the ratio is going to be one to ten? 
Then take the no, sticker down. No, and I'm going to tell you why. Because somebody who may be uh, willing to talk about it may think that that is a troll sticker. An ironic sticker. Yes. Because it seems ironic. So they Especially would not the be... actually part yes. of it. So that's why. About Naruto lately. I can't put my finger on exactly why. You're showing why. Madara beats up a bunch of literal no names and people clap. Like he's the strongest, baddest, most awesome dude. He beat up four named people here. It means nothing. It could be that one of the other name, big th- name me any Jonin of prominence in another village. Oh, you can. Absolutely. Sure. But then you have to sit there and think about it. Pull it back. Kakashi is a legendary muff and uh oh here comes Kakashi dude his name ringing throughout the countries and somebody like Darui in part 2 could fold part 1 Kakashi so why was he so legendary it don't make no sense when, you, when muffs come up later and they're so much stronger than part 1 Kakashi cause it just goes ramp way up part 2 Kakashi once he starts getting the Kamui and stuff Destroy it, Oro! So what? Who is Oro? When he was shitting himself over him? Ah, uh, power scaling debates and stuff. I'm not, that's not my forte. Yes, it is. No? I've, start, I've started to get into um, tuning exam Sasuke versus Neji. That's an interesting topic. What are you doing? Would you like to hear the argument? No! Oh, of course wanna... you wouldn't. Why would you? Yeah, I don't want to hear him, but I am. Here I am no, with this cursed yeah. knowledge. No, 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 no. You clearly want to hear them because you click on the item or allow the item to continue to play once it comes up in your next playlist. It has nothing to do with you not wanting to because if you didn't want to, you wouldn't. That's not how it works. It's literally how it works. No. There is no other way that it does I work. Too much free time at work. And it's either going to be Phil stuff, us, <laughs> or that. Hey, guess what my two things are? Phil stuff and us. So, sometimes you got to branch out a little bit. And, okay, but there's so many ways to branch out that's and I not... have. I have branched out from Cell versus Deborah <laughs> into Sasuke. Tuning exam versus Neji tuning exam. You're an animal. I am who I am. I am who you, who society has made me. <laughs> I don't think any part of society has molded the person that goes, I have no interest in Neji versus Sasuke tuning exam. Oh, but Neji versus Sasuke tuning exam. Yeah, I've got time. Why? It could be that one of the other big three Shonen series just crashed and burned, or maybe I'm just... Hey, uh, Naruto uh, did too. There's other things out there to watch? Missing the simple enjoyment that the early episodes provided, but either way, I've been meaning to make a video about it for some time now. So when the fine folks at Oasis Game... What a cut! <laughs> that was taken in a different millennia! <laughs> Mother, at least try to match it. This was four mics ago. <laughs> what happened? Hold on, because that cut was crazy. I've been meaning to make a video about it for some time now. So when the fine folks at Oasis Games offered me a frankly obs... Dude, it sounds like he's in an the, aquarium. Oh, yes, it- like he did it off his phone while he's in like the hallway of work absurd amount of money to do a video promoting Naruto online, which I was already basically going to do anyway, I of course jumped at the opportunity. And yes, that does... Um, this link leads nowhere now. That is very lazy to just throw it on there. White text, no background, just float. Not even in Naruto text, which you could find seven years ago. Yes mean that Oasis Games has sponsored and approved this video, which I have to say for legal reasons. I only agreed after doing my due diligence in seeing if this is... (laughs) Okay, so he that was a quick, hey, legally. (laughs) I gotta say (laughs) this. No processing, no nothing, just raw Jeff. 
something I'd actually want to endorse, of course. Honestly, I was a little skeptical, seeing as this is a browser-based game you can play on Facebook, but Naruto Online feels like an impressively solid, full-featured MMO. It has great production values, a ton of content, and a big world to explore. There's no cow-clicking to be found here. Boy, now, you saying a big world and you're in a hallway <laughs> that leads to another hallway? <laughs> I don't know, pimp. That map looking mighty small. <laughs> You might think it's weird for someone like me, a staunch decrier of dumb anime like Sword Art Online, to be so eager to promote something like Naruto. But here's the thing. I think Naruto gets a bum rap. As one of the big three anime that doesn't rhyme with fun geese, it often gets lumped in with the one that recommends a good drink pairing in its title. And that's not entirely fair. So, if, if you're judging them, you're going to have a good one, a middle one, and a bad bad one. Mm -hmm. If people consider Bleach the bad one and One Piece the good one, they can't all be on equal tiers because they're not all on equal tiers. Yeah, I don't think it's fundamentally possible for three things to be the exact same level of good. One is inherently going to be better than the other. So people put too much stake into the big three thing. Yes, way too much. As of someone who was growing up during the time, I did not read Bleach at all. I didn't give a crap. Mm -hmm. I only watched One Piece because it was on four kids. Naruto was readily available. Big three, it did not matter. Because everybody has a different def definition of what the big three actually is. I think One Piece, like when Naruto came out, that was my reintroduction into anime. Um, and I think Bleach was like the third thing I had watched since that reintroduction. One Piece was like the ninth, tenth thing I had watched. It did not matter to me. Yes, Naruto has its low points. It has its blisteringly stupid moments, as well as its share of absolutely garbage characters. But it has a lot of strengths as well. You could say the exact same thing for what? Bleach. Who are th what's happening here? His neck this is broken. Isn't... That's what's happening. <laughs> This didn't happen! Why are you showing filler? It's not absolutely brilliant like One Piece, but it does many things right, and I think that you those You can say things, the same yes. thing about Bleach. You're not explaining yet. The, the, I understand you're, you've got a good 20 minutes to explain, but still. ...things are worth celebrating. So here in... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, nothing is worth celebrating. You can celebrate a thing you think is good, but that doesn't, a good thing isn't necessarily worthy of celebration. Just like a bad thing isn't necessarily worthy of derision. Cats fan sitting next to me. Yeah, it's good, actually. Peep no the sticker. particular order are the reasons that I think Naruto has more or less earned its nigh-unparalleled success. And just to get the superficial stuff out of the way, in addition to everything I'm about to say, the anime looks really pretty when it wants to, and the music is all around great. Naruto's first substantial strength lies in its story. This is probably a weird place to start, and I don't blame anyone who immediately jumped down to leave an incredulous and, comment. And Why again. would the story be a way weird place to start in a story? But um, to, to bring the meme back, you talk about the story and you're showing action. Because it's clear what's going on here. When he said, you know, the story is a weird place to start, the only thing they really care about are the hype moments. They're waiting for the story to lead them to next punch. As soon as I said that, but hear me out. In concept, the world of Naruto is pretty goddamn cool. I don't give a yeah, shit about con the concept. Conceptually, in conceptually, Harry Potter is good. Factually, it is broken <laughs> beyond belief. <laughs> And uh, writing wise, <laughs> and a lot of things wise. <laughs> I, was, I was reading a, a Reddit post recently where it, was, it, was, it said something like, um, 
Yeah, she constructed this great world and she deserves praise for that. Shut up. And it's like, yo, but the writing is, yeah. it's like, oh, because of what she says now or nope. her problematic behavior, now people are looking back and like, oh, Harry Potter sucks. No, it sucks. Yeah, you can't just, why wouldn't you just go, you can, you can just see it and just go, okay, no, yo, I understand now. Harry Potter is a really bad series. That's gonna, that, that becomes reason is gonna go crazy. An anachronistic blend of the modern world and ancient Japan, run by it society- is, It is barely shown that of modern world. You have TVs, which factor in very little. You have earpieces every now and again. But what- Also factoring in very little. You're still doing carrier pigeons and stuff like that. Jiraiya had to put a message on a frog. There's no, um, like, mass transportation. Moths are just walking to another city. ...cities of magical ninjas with crazy superpowers. It's a world comprised of many different, at times diametrically opposed cultures with a rich, detailed history and mythology. What's okay. the rich and detailed history of the, city, of the village hidden in the sand? How did they evolve differently? That let's say that they don't have TVs. How did they evolve differently from a leaf which do have a TV? You can look at one piece and just go, these mobs are hundreds of thousands of miles away. They're not venturing out. So of course this little jungle place is just gonna be a bunch of savages. Then you got this rich part. That makes sense. But here you got developed nations across the board and they're just rich and diverse and whatever. And they just exist and that's worthy of praise. Gee. In execution, the story of Naruto is an absolute mess. Meandering about between filler arcs, even in the manga. That has nothing. Filler arc in the manga? No! What filler arc in what the manga? Filler arc in the manga. And things that don't uh, uh, progress plot. M filler. Uh, uh, the. I was about to say the only coming back to Konoha, but that establishes a lot of stuff. Goes into Gata, goes into the hunt for um, the Akatsuki, Asuma, training, waterfall, fox, war, done. What? Uh, maybe Sakura chasing Sasuke? But we're looking at a chapter? I'm just trying to give this man some some and rope. That's great. What is he talking about? And the filler in the anime, just skip it. Even back when I was a kid, after going as a fan of Naruto, watching Naruto and Sasuke, I skipped the the boat stuff. Uh, or the the first filler where they go off to the, to some boat race or something. <laughs> I'm like, nah, man, let's, let's go. And then he just, he gets knocked out and gets hurt during that filler. So it's just like, oh, no, he, we still need Tsunade, though. No, don't worry about it. She's still coming. But once, the first mission that they go on post uh, Naruto Sasuke thing was, hey, uh, Sasuke's over there and uh, we got a lead. And then they fight Kabuto and he pulls out his heart or something. And I was just like, ah. And then I looked it up like, oh, this all, oh, this didn't happen. <laughs> Skip it. And largely unnecessary plot points, unsure of what parts of its lore it should focus on and what should be left in the background. Having all of those details. What are you Beautiful. talking about? Fantastic. Please, M2B, explain. This love ain't do nothing. He just weren't at us. It's a, it's a mess with... Uh, filler arcs even in manga and plot, plot points, points where don't really, what it, it, you don't it doesn't know where it wants to focus on and it's lore you can easily just as somebody who has not reread it my mind constantly just goes back to guy going there's a there's a secret in clan of beetle people in the village and you no nah, that that he clearly just dropped that so you can just point to that a line done. Can you let go of the never? Guy? Ne it's so <laughs> stupid. It's so dumb. It makes 
No, you can't. Muff is writing his name. His, his, there are, what, eight Jonin in the village. Koronai is one of them. Asuma's one of them. Hey, what are your students? Oh, it's this beetle muff. You telling me there's... Where do they live? Come on. It, what? What are there? Let's say there's... You can't tell me there's five Aburame. You can't. They have to be a clan. Let's say 20 of them. You can't tell me that 20 muff is just not... Hey, this guy's going on an S rank mission. Oh, what can he do? Uh, don't worry about it. Hey, this Aburame muff is racking up. Why? The Why? Dubs. Why is this man going on an A rank mission with his child? Is Why that, is that child allowed? busted? What's going on? Is here? the man busted? What's oh, they're a, the Beetle Clan. It is it. Especially for a guy who's lived there for his entire the the Abarame clan is has not been established here and now. They were with um um uh uh Minato. So that's when Kakashi was a kid. They're in the Ambu. He, um he one of them is Donzo's guard or something or whatever. It makes no sense. Establish, drop. I'm not gonna fault them for that. It happens in manga and stuff like that. But don't make it so that oh this dude, oh watch out for him, and then he have two halves of a fight, and he don't do nothing for the entirety of the thing. Justice for Shino is what I'm trying to say here. That was the whole. Point. Yes, that's what we have to get back to that point with this interlaced video, dude. What are you doing? This ghost frame seven oh. seven years ago editing, not the strongest suit, but just stuff like that. Easy, just pick up the manga, skim through it, maybe pick something up. Go to Reddit and just go drop plot points in Naruto, and you'll probably find something. Now it'd be hilarious if I hit play and he started going off on plot points. <laughs> Wouldn't it? Details in place does make the world feel alive, though, and the visual design of the world itself is really freaking cool. Come no, on. it's not, dude. It's a forest. It's a desert. It's a lake. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. Village, it's a mountain. Village hidden in the clouds. What is it? is one of my favorite locales in all of anime and you look at this and go this is one of my favorite locations in the entirety of my anime consumption uh, seven years ago I don't know what he read or watched his, his channel dude Hinemazawa from Higarashi is more interesting than this look, it's got a, look at that building it's got hearts one of Hookers? my fa favorite mark. things about Naruto online is that it's one of the Smooth. Smooth. Like butter. Like butter. Ugh. One of my legally favorite things about Naruto or Monster Dad. <laughs> the rare Naruto games that lets you explore that world fully. Plus, it actually filters out a lot of the chaff in the story and lets you experience it at your own pace. So, so what, what is there in the village that is of note? What is there uh, interesting about that village? I didn't tell you. Water 7 is interesting in concept. There, Absent of what you know about One Piece, the world, anything. Just looking at it. But I'm not going. Yo, the buildings, the inf No. It's a good concept of the water rising and stuff like that. The way that Naruto meanders about may hurt it as a linear narrative, but as a game story, it works shockingly well. Legally. If there's one thing that Naruto has going for it, though, it's that it does have a clear, specific conclusion in mind from the beginning. Do you have any idea how rare that is in a long-running shonen series that's not about sports? Um, you, okay, so you, you're showing One Piece? That's a conclusion. Um, Yo didn't necessarily want to be Shaman King, but that was the ultimate goal. He, he spoilers, Auga Auga doesn't get to do that, in, from what I've seen, because there's been like three spinoffs. Of since course they have. Uh, but he didn't get to do that, but that was the end goal. Um, I think every JoJo's part has an end goal within the first, like, 
couple of chapters or so. Beat Dio, stop um, the Pillar Man. Dio uh, wasn't necessary. Not in not part in part four. four. Uh, part five, Gang Star. Yep. Part six, she wanted to escape and then she wanted to save. Well, it, it began with she wanted to save her dad. That was in like the first three episodes. So I think you can count that. Um, I want to walk. Win a race, a walk. Uh, who am I? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> that paper, though. <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy wants to find One Piece, whatever that is, and become king of the pirates, whatever that means. But the story is really about all of the interesting things that he finds along the way. Ichigo Kurosaki wants to no, stop. It's the- also it's also about what it means for him. Mm-hmm. That 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 is what it is. He wants to do it. He explained why he wants to do it. Being a soul eater, get with Rukia. Oh uh, no, that doesn't happen. Drink bleach. Maybe that's where the title comes Pause. from. He's going to mention Sword Art Online and nothing else. He hates bleach, and I I wonder if he hates bleach because of its comparison to Naruto more so than Naruto being compared to One Piece. It's more on that end of the spectrum. Either way, Ichigo's whole thing is protecting his friends. I don't... I'm sorry there's not some grand villain at the end of the series. Like, you could say that... Wh- what is it for Naruto? Like, H- Hokage? But that's not... Mm-hmm. That doesn't... That's just a goal of his. Like, that's not anything the story pertains to. No, it is not. As evidence in your debate... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, legitimately one of the ugliest debates I've ever had. <laughs> when you detected me talking about that, I'm like, did that really? Was that really said? <laughs> yes, right here, time stamped it and everything for me. Yeah, it was a really bad debate. Honestly, I have no idea. Unlike these guys, Naruto doesn't mess around. Naruto wants to be accepted as a part of his village Pause. and earn the. Re- okay, so um, the first arc of uh, Zabuza, he does not further that goal at all. He's that's not he's not going into that mission with that goal. The tuning exam, he ranks up. Sure, you could say that it pertains to the goal of wanting to uh, gain acceptance. He didn't rank up. By the uh, way. He also did not rank up. Uh, Sasuke, retrieve Sasuke, didn't no, no fine acceptance so, there. Tsunade. Uh, fine, Tsunade. Um, no, no, su- no will. It wasn't about He's not gaining even. acceptance. It was, hey, join me on this mission and get stronger. Sasuke wasn't about that. Uh, Gata wasn't about that. Um, Pain wasn't about that. What was about him wanting to gain the acceptance? Because he was not like, I'm going to stop Pain and save the village for acceptance. What did he do to gain that acceptance? He didn't even fight Neji to gain acceptance. He beat Neji, and then people started to cheer for him. It was simply an and and to the actual goal of avenging Kinata. Yeah, a byproduct. Great way to put it. They would have cheered for anybody. And like I said before, not now. One of them months, just like the foxes here run, or the foxes here ugh. Or just people silently get because apparently they're they're not supposed to talk about it. But people silently but they get can up. get up those in torches and pitchforks yeah. in the middle of the yeah. night. <laughs> but they just silently get up and walk out, and you just see half the village clear out. Anything, yeah. It, um, whenever Naruto fights or something, they all like turn their heads or something. Even in the prelims, there's a Jonin or two. That's just like not watching his fights. Respect of his peers. That's something that happens in, uh, you're not going to care about this. That's something that happens in Beastars where um, Haru has, um, she's ostracized in school. And a lot of times she'll just walk around and students will just bump into her and just keep walking. Or she'll try to um, like do some gardening and they'll cut up the, 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 the vegetation and just keep walking and stuff like that. Just outright antagonistic behavior because they don't like her without just going, you slut rabbit, you slut. 
even though one does. Yeah, agreed. I remember that part. How about you read V stars? You already got me on a hook for in Kuroko no basket or whatever the Oh, is. I'd prefer you read that. <laughs> I'd yeah, so shut Only for the content. We're not gonna get content out of these stars. Pieces got me on the hook for that. <laughs> and then it's going on, but also then. I mean, you, there's stuff to read. There's so many things. I can there's recommend both so one things. positive. And, hey, when you got time to be doing and Neji sh- uh, in Sasuke tuning exam debates <laughs> that you don't even care about, maybe there's some time. Whilst doing other things. Oh, cool. <laughs> yes. That's the part that matters. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a call that I've taken 50 times. So I got Sasuke in my ear. Sasuke versus Naruto. Sasuke, Sasuke versus Neji. You know, talk about the spin and, and dropping the weights and stuff. And the top of, oh, my teams won't connect. Yeah, I know what the, I know what the solution is. Shut up and let me do it. Shut up. I'm so happy. I rarely have to talk to actual it's people. It's the worst. I could just chat. It's a ticket. I resolve the ticket sometimes. I don't even talk to them on teams. I don't even need to. The worst. <laughs> I'm shocked you don't have um, that audiobook, the Netflix of audiobooks thing that I used to use. I still need to focus a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I found that uh, I tried to do it again during my job, and I'm like, there's too much I need to concentrate on. Yeah. Like, for Phil, I can miss you, a minute and a half yeah, of you Phil and I not care. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And I'm, I don't need to hear every little bit of Sasuke versus Neji. So that Since just, you don't care yeah, about Yeah, that could just go and just noise as they're just noising at me. That's the same reason why I don't listen to new music while I'm uh, reading same. the manga. You know, I can't listen to new like rock music because a lot of times that's about a hook. Or a, um, or the beat or something. So, one little thing can catch me for a rock song, but for like rap, it's a lot. You got to listen to the lyrics to understand why this song is good. Not even that, because I'll just because it just sort of becomes a feeling after a while. Of just this is rock music, and you don't really know if it's good or bad. So I'm looking for music to put on my playlist. Mm-hmm. So if I'm just like ah uh, rap whatever, and I'm not really listening or engaging with it, the, the everything that's going on, it's just like yeah, this was good. It's like no, no, this was good. And not in some nebulous metaphorical sense. He has a tangible, quantifiable goal of growing up to become the ninja president, the Hokage. Pause. What does it mean to be Hokage? Yes, he doesn't even know. He literally does not know. He doesn't know the steps to get there. All he knows is that's a thing he wants. We know from the story that the Hokage sends us on missions. They lead the village, whatever that means. End of job they, description. They control the troops. I guess they give speeches in the tuning exam, too, because he was there going, the borders and all this other bullshit that that third second was talking. And they neglect people they care about, son. Except uh, unless you're the second, in which case you've done everything right. You know, you, you know how you do you know how committed to the village he was? Never married. Didn't have time. He was too busy making jutsus to make babies. First did, he sucks. Third did, he sucks. Fourth. Fourth did, he's... Cu- there, what are we doing here? So you're saying it's the women that are the issue here? No. I'm saying that he did not have time for anything outside of making jutsus, saving the village, and hating them motherfuckers over there. <laughs> That's all. It, it is a a three handed clock, and it's My always time. time. It's always time. <laughs> it's it's twenty four hours in a day. Eight is sleeping, mm. and the other sixteen. There's some overlap there, now. There's always overlap. <laughs> But every every one of them gets about seven hours. Well, how do I make a jutsu to hate on these motherfuckers? 
Naruto wants to put his face on a goddamn mountain. In fact, our introduction to the character is him painting his own face on that mountain. An introduction that does a fantastic job of conveying to us the mischievous side of him as well as the ambitious side. Basically, what no, he's all... that's not amb... Where's the ambition? I'm going to be this thing, so I might as well put my face on there now. What are you doing to be that thing? You're acting be out. Be strong. You're not being the strongest. You're not working hard. You're, you, you failed three or four times. About. And we know that the very end of the series will be intrinsically connected to how it begins here. The fame. And through all of the nonsense tangents that the series goes off... But couldn't you say the same about One Piece? Yes, but no, because that's not a tangible goal, because the One Piece might not be real. But the title of the Pirate King is definitively real. No, that was just something that was given to Goldie Roger and never has been given to anybody else in the world. But the man up there said, find it! And then... His friend and rival went, that's real, y'all. <laughs> he definitely ran out of there. So, and you can say, what does that mean to be the Pirate King? What does it mean to be the whole Kage? Again, we didn't know this until there was a filler episode of them going, sit down in this room and read about ninja history. Hey, can I use 50 clones to do that? No, for some reason. Afon, he's always moving toward that goal making oh no he's not what does rescue sasuke have to do with becoming hokage what does rescue gara have to do with becoming hokage what does zabuza and haku have to do with that come on now this is not what's happening friends proving his strength making friends have nothing to do with hokage his strength which uh, you could just say with the second hokage (laughs) <laughs> that friendless, <laughs> wifeless bastard. <laughs> By choice. By choice. <laughs> Always moving toward that goal, making friends, proving his strength to the people of Konoha time and again, and no, learning. No, it was only time. <laughs> <laughs> because who else saw any of his other accolades? He he punched this guy. He who, talked pain down. Who they just been told is super good. So they got no real evidence of that. Uh, from what they're seeing, this guy is fighting a bum. And is, he's finessing this bum until he got hit in his glass chin and he fell out. What's there to be cheer? What accolades did he do? He didn't do nothing. He did his gentle fist once. Uh, he didn't close off the nose again with the fox jogger. I can only do it once for some reason. And then he spun. And, 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 he, he, and he spun he, and spun and spun. And then he fell over and went, that's all for me. <laughs> you have changed my entire life and worldview with your punch, Naruto. Whereas Naruto is making, he made like seven clones in that. And making one or two is something that's just like, oh, what the f- and he's busting them out. Is that not worthy? But nothing about that. Slowly but surely, what it takes to succeed in life and what it really means to be a leader. The meaning- What of- does it mean? When did he ever learn what it meant to be a leader? He didn't lead a single mission. He didn't lead a single thing. What? What learning to be a leader? Oh, dude, that's crazy. That's not... What did he watch? (laughs) Posited by the series, friendship and cooperation might be a little, well, a lot hokey, but you know what? It's a fine message for a kid's show to be about, and I admire Naruto for sticking to its guns on it. Would Naruto have become Hokage? No, because Engar became Kazakage, and everybody hated him! I was just about to ask if he would have still been able to become Okaya if everybody hated him, if he was just the strongest, the most capable. Well, it's just essentially about these two months that just go, we need Okage, uh, Donzo, you're, you all we got. What's his approval rating? We don't know, because this month is just on top of the mountain going, wah ha ha. So it could just, you could just be appointed. Tsunade was a drunk. Yeah. So it's just about, Hey, you. 
legitimately get up on that mountain and as a theme it's reflected vic Even this early in his career, we knew what it was about. Out, and I admire Naruto for Pause. sticking. Talks about filler and how negative it is, and uses filler. But this is good filler, cause fight and guy and the kids. And Ten Ten's I'm, there. I'm glad you said the kids, and not me. To its guns on it. <laughs> and as a theme, it's reflected very strongly in Naruto's character arc. A lot of people don't like Naruto much as a character, and, and I can see why, but in my opinion, he's a very well conceived protagonist. Oh, he feels. Again with the conception. What's an ill conceived protagonist, Tom? Ichigo. How so? He's Ichigo's, all about the fresh. Ichigo bad. It does. Vague sentence about Ichigo moving on. <laughs> Vague negative sentence mm. about Ichigo moving on. Uh, throw in dr uh, joke about drinking bleach. Ah, Sword Art Online. <laughs> Naruto Online illegally. <laughs> Alienated due to factors beyond his control, and as a like, you know what's in your control? <laughs> your character when you're playing Naruto. <laughs> result lashes out at the world around him, something that a lot of kids can relate to. But unlike many of the villains he faces, and the series is very good at setting up its villains as foils for Naruto, even if it usually doesn't know what to do with them after that, Naruto doesn't. No, Ooh, nothing. About? Who doesn't matter? What it don't it nothing matters. Want to hurt people? He just wants them to like him, and he acts out as Duh. a way of. He wanted to hurt Haku. Yeah, I you know he wanted to hurt Oro. It's not like he was Getting just like, hey, pain. You don't have to do this. to like him, and he acts out as a way of getting their attention because he doesn't know any other way. The whole Pause. series... Has it ever worked? Has anybody ever liked him because he's been acting out? So why does he continue and not... Why does he look like Butthead here? Or Beavis? <laughs> you know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't! <laughs> about... But why would he continue down that path? You could say that that happens in our world with real life and kids and stuff like that mm -hmm. but this isn't this is a character that you can make do anything you can see every little bit of his life and how he interacts with people you can understand why he's doing that. i don't understand why a kid does that but you can make me understand why a naruto is doing something like that and why he continues down this path why he thinks this is the right path because sasuke gets the attention without doing that by being strong and cool why didn't he go down that path mm -hmm teaching him that other way. The inciting incident for the entire story, Naruto stealing the Shadow Clone Jutsu Scroll, is the ultimate example of Naruto trying to do everything on his own. Look and things only turn chokes. out okay in the end because his teacher shows up to help him out. In each successive no. arc... No, he already knew how to do the Jutsu because he read it. Yeah. So he could have just popped it and... At any time. And he would have been fine. Naruto is forced to rely more and more on others. At first, he does so begrudgingly, but as time goes on, he comes to really care for his friends. Pause. And eventually... Ichigo and Luffy? Um... He reaches a point where he starts trying to help them out when they're in trouble. And along the way, he goes from being this idiot kid who doesn't really understand what being Hokage even means to a real leader who is fully capable of taking up the role. Why? How? What when? in the story has allowed us to show him being a leader? The pain speech. And what else? And he delivers a lot of preachy speeches about how important friendship is to the villains. Because whatever strengths this story might have, subtlety is not one of them. And how does that help him becoming a Hokage, or a leader? How does that help him with his goal? 
But if Naruto has such a clear focus, then why is its story so all over the place? The simple and somewhat reductive explanation is publisher interference. It's always never, mm -hmm. never, it's the, never the mother. Is never this dude who who just does can't maybe he can't write. <laughs> Maybe it's just that. Maybe, he, maybe he don't got the juice. Maybe he just didn't plan out stuff the way that he should have. And then he has to just retroactively have some stuff. Hey, what happened with Samurai 8? Because that was your boy. Yeah, well, Publishers did their best to just go, you cook. Go. Keep going. Hey, you know what happened? You, you canceled sold 13 copies. But we'll give you another 14 volumes. That 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 fifteenth volume, that one's gonna hit. I swear. The advertisement out the wazoo, and nothing. This thing was making money hand over fist, and Shonen Jump wanted to keep making that money. So Kishimoto, the mangaka, had little choice but to keep the story going, expanding its. Prove it. When did this happen? Because he introduced the Akatsuki. Mm -hmm. He showed nine or ten of them of. Mm -hmm. So you have to pay them off. So And that was at the end of Naruto proper. So what are, you, what are we doing here? We've seen that there are teams of two. So you've got at least five arcs of fighting these dudes. When was this? What was the mandate? What was Kishimoto's original plan? Yes, what was the end point of Naruto before publisher interference made him draw it out to heavy what middle into the bloated mess that we have today and no character is more representative of that problem than sasuke sasuke sucks and i hate him so goddamn much but i am why trying would anybody to anybody hate sasuke what why would anybody hate sasuke He's a character. Focus on the positive Naruto. here, so I'll be brief in explaining why. When Naruto was originally conceived, Sasuke didn't exist. Kishimoto's editor advised him that his story needed a rival character, and by advised, I mean he said, we won't publish this unless you change it. So Kishimoto created Sasuke to be Naruto's opposite in almost every way. There are two huge problems with this. Firstly, that's already the role that many of the series' minor and major villains fill. From Haku to Negi to oh. Gara. That was almost a slur. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a What's second. What's up, my Negi? <laughs> <laughs> what, Niji? And now this? Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. What did you hear? I don't know what's going Maybe on. Maybe he read it. But, may but no, he talked about the other He's showing that. Ne Negi? What? Negi. So, um, Negi is never antagonistic or uh, has any sort of rivalry towards Naruto after this. Um, Haku is deceased. Uh, Gata does not see him until the time skip. What are we talking about here? Negi does not exist. <laughs> let's, let's back that up a little bit. <laughs> you can't be a rival if you're not around. Yeah. What is having a fight with somebody, having a um, a differing of, of ideologies does not make you a rival. It's two people operating um, towards the same goal within the same space competing against each other. Um... So even if like Naruto and Gara became rivals, it couldn't be, hey, we both want to become the Hokage. I can't be. I'm in the Sand Village. Or can he? Or can he? I don't know. Foreign uh, policy. Yeah. Immigration. Uh, exchange students or something. I don't know. Can he? Yeah, we're not. So you'd have to look at somebody like Akiba. As his rival. But again, outside of Kiba lazily near the end going, I want to be the Hokage, what is there to indicate some sort of rivalry? There's not really many people within the space of Naruto that are like, I want to become the Hokage. 
maybe Konohamaru, but he, he'd be it after Naruto. And even in looking at that, Sasuke doesn't want to be the whole Kage. He just has a... I don't want to just say rivalry with Naruto, but they're antagonistic, but they're also sort of pushing each other forward. That's that's also an aspect of rivalry. What makes Gata a rival to him? To Orochimaru and beyond. Orochimaru is a rival? He must be just talking about they're an antagonist to Naruto. What? Pain is dead! <laughs> What is a rival to you? You're just, this, these are just antagonists. It's crazy. I would say the series of Naruto as a whole, the good bits of Naruto are made better thanks to Sasuke being included. The bad bits are worse <laughs> thanks to Sasuke being included. What are the good bits? Um, I'd say the Haku stuff. All of that stuff with Zabuza. Uh, them working together there. Even the trying to climb up the tree, I think that's sure. a really nice little fun moment. But also that that introduces the hey. Gons. Hey, those are. Hey, what did I just say? Only certain Uchiha and legendary <laughs> eyes. And, oh, here you go, pop them, bam. Um, um, great, grand opening, grand closing. I'd say the force of death, um, especially with Sakura's um, growth there into being Kanochi mostly. I I've always liked his, um, I'm going to make this super convoluted um, password, and then if a Naruto says it, well, they're clearly fake, because yes. Naruto wouldn't remember it. Um, yeah, there's, I think there's a lot of good bits in Naruto that are centered around Sasuke. Um, even if it wasn't necessarily Sasuke, a actual rival character. Because what would be the crux of the trio? Let's say it's even just a duo now. What? How does the story evolve from a duo of Naruto and Sakura? Yeah. Even if, okay, let's say there's no rival character. There's just a third character. How, what? What is the progression of the story when it's just two dudes that like each other? And mm. is it a love triangle type thing? Which it's I think just, inherently would be a worse story for Naruto. And if it's a love triangle, wouldn't that also be a rivalry? Not if it's in the same dy a dynamic where Sakura likes Sasuke or the Sasuke character. Naruto likes Sakura. And nobody's getting together because they're all at a standstill of not liking the person that likes them. Sasuke only likes, let's just say, a uh, battle. So he likes Naruto because he gives him the best battle. Naruto has plenty of foils, almost. Yes, foils and rivals are two totally separate things. This is goofy. You can't say, like, um, something like Sherlock Holmes. Whatever character is in the story, that whatever villain is in that story, the murderer, the, the person that did the plot, they're the foil to Holmes. But his rival is Moriarty. Do you understand the difference? I understand I'm just saying names to him without explaining why it would be different. But I just use famous people in the hopes that it would showcase the difference of a foil for a story or an arc and an overarching rival of the main character. All so, of them. Uh, I looked at the Naruto one shot. Yes. And it's essentially just a mystery about who done it. And then you turn the page. And wash your hands. And then it's just like, hey, Naruto. We found this gun in your place. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Look Look at this. got the ninjas. Blam, blam. <laughs> Get shot, idiot. <laughs> Ninja time. Yo, this, uh... Fox chakra? No. Glock chakra. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why he was just like, hey, yo, tighten up <laughs> this in script. 
and get a rival with Why has that kid? recently become a thing? Because it's funny. <laughs> This years ago. Now all of a sudden, hey, tighten up this script. Yeah, I can see why somebody just like, hey, this is a story about ninjas. All right, they find a gun in his apartment. Yo, you gotta do something. Else. This is not a uh, jump title. Take that sh over there. Look at this, this corrupt policeman bush, and it's about a painting going missing or something. And there's a and the mom just got a blizzy. <laughs> I can see why dad was just like, no, sir. You we tell me. Where is this going? You tell me you read that one shot and you would prefer the story advanced from that one oh. over what you got. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my. Look at Proto Third Hokage. This. At least he's the monster. Put, it, he's just, put away the pen. <laughs> That is not a nice looking old man. Yo, this sucks. <laughs> more fun to contend with. Secondly, the way that more, Sasuke... Wh why are they more fun? What is more fun about Oro? Oro is only fun in that he's just like, Oh, Sasuke is way better than you, my Slick Sasuke. Tongue. Yeah, oh, you don't know the things that me and my Sasuke got into. That's the only... What else does Oro have in terms with Naruto? Nothing. ...is written just doesn't work. Like Naruto, he experienced personal tragedy and comes from a highly stigmatized family, but he's good at everything and everyone likes him. He worked hard for that sh mm -hmm. You see him working hard for that sh I'm sorry, he's really good because he worked hard, and Naruto's really bad despite working hard. Um, his introduction gets folded by Kakashi. Folded! Next, next arc does nothing against Zabuza and Haku. Next time we see him fight, he gets destroyed by Lee. Then he beats... Boro in the forest. No, Lee, Lee, that little scuffle that they had with... Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yep. Then, uh, Oro in the forest... Then he beats some the oh, wind yes. guy. Then he beats stretchy man who can steal your chakra. He loses to Gata. He he loses. He perceives himself to lose to Naruto. Mm. He loses to the sound four. Should have lost to Naruto and barely beat Naruto. That's part one Sasuke. He's amazing. Oh, I forgot about Itachi. Oh, yeah, he got peeled up by Itachi. So snapped that arm and left that boy crying. Get a Chidori with his Sharingan. He just lazily grabs his arm. The Chidori just vanishes. <laughs> Sasuke barely struggles and he just gingerly snaps his arm and he starts giving him a two piece of the biscuit. <laughs> just comboing this month. Yeah, Sasuke doesn't work because he's too good. <laughs> wham, wham, wham. <laughs> No, Sasuke should be doing the wham wham. Well, he ain't. He traumatized him up to the point where they were just like, we need the best medical ninjutsu buff in, in the universe here. Else he's just laying there. It's vegetable time for Sasuke. This term gets bandied about a lot, often inaccurately, but Sasuke has a bad case of the Gary Stews, which... He worked hard for his yes. What? And, and he and he's good within the guinea. Hey, you can say that he took um Lee's um taijutsu move. You know who else did? Naruto, who's a bum? What are we talking about here? He was not promoted to chunin. They they he they saw enough. That they would look at that speed. Lee was lauded for his speed. Guy was just guy a Taiju master was just like he's the fastest mother here. And then Sasuke casually matches that. The the Hokage who makes the decision sees that 
sees him doing the jutsu that Kakashi is only known for that he made an S rank jutsu goes through the, the sand barrier, which looks difficult enough to get through, and still does not promote him. You know who got promoted? Shika. Because he threw be- his coat up and, and did a shadow in his hole. Mm. Tolerable if he were just a one-note character meant to piss Naruto off and motivate him to be better, but Sasuke and Naruto's friendship is billed as the emotional core of the entire story. Yeah, no, that's Bush. That has nothing to do with Sasuke. Mm. That has to do with the poor writing of Kishimoto. That has nothing to do with the Gary Stunis, which you established and then kind of went nowhere with. It has to do with the poor writing of Kishimoto. Kishimoto, even if he was forced to construct this character, he never now has a hundred and some odd chapters to flesh him out and flesh out his relationship with Naruto. So when we get to this moment, it is the emotional beat that he wants and he could not fulfill on that. That has nothing to do with Sasuke. More of those climbing the tree moments. Beautiful. Less of the, hey, don't you remember when we were friends? (laughs) More of the, uh... What are you, chicken? Or uh, I want to fight Lee and I want to fight Blue and I want to fight you too, Naruto. And less of just him looking at the picture and slowly putting it face down. What does that mean to him? I'm already gone. It's a two-person reference. (laughs) Uh, More than I saw it. (laughs) And he's too much of an insufferable ponce for that to ever work. But That's not Sasuke. Yeah. Um... And you can be an insufferable punts and still be a character that you can understand why people would like him or uh, people within the world would like him. Uh, I don't like Miata from Hajime no Ippo, but I understand why um, he's a good person with a Sendo. I like him when he's with Sendo because it's a Laurel and Hardy, straight man, wild man type of thing. Um, but he stinks. Cavendish. <laughs> he's, he's a piece of... He's so pompous. <laughs> He all the attention on me that time, but I love him. <laughs> when Shonen Jump didn't seem to get that memo because as the series goes, okay, even if they didn't get the memo of hey, you, we need a rival character, Kishimoto wrote the character. Mm-hmm. He could do theoretically anything with them, and he chose to do this with him on and Sasuke tests better with audiences, Sasuke and his shitty family become the driving force behind the bulk of the plot. Everything becomes Uchiha this and Sharingan that. This man has a hate boner for the Uchiha yeah. and not in the way of you where you go, hey, they suck. He is, hey, they're taking the focus off good boy Naruto. Even though, last I checked, the show is still called Naruto. Yes, the focus not can be... In guilt. I don't care what it's called! The focus can be split into other places as well. Other things can do things within the story, even if it's a titular character. Slam Dunk is called Slam Dunk. You think every point score was a Slam Dunk? Ippo has not fought in some 300 chapters. Serious fights. The fighting Epo. He is not fighting. He's gonna though. Oh yeah, they're they're just geared. How much longer can he go? Cause he's he's been going since the eighties. But Rocky's on monthly. Hey, my man. But it's also he be turning out the seven page chapter. <laughs> he do be turning it. I I just caught up with Epo, and I'm just. Like, <laughs> Break next week. I'm like, break this week, mom. You ain't do nothing. <laughs> he's 58. Yes, he's up there. Yeah. He, you know, move to monthly or you got to, you know, tighten up his script. <laughs> Get him back in that ring or something, man. I don't want to. I don't want you to die without having Epo hop in that ring again. Hey, just hand me my Epo Ricardo. And, and again, at that point, you can go in the dirt. <laughs> Save with Oda. Finish your story. 
Rest easy, rest easy, warrior. <laughs> like walk, walked into your grave and did lay down <laughs> and done. Oh, <laughs> just right into the dirt. And it's a crying shame because there are so many infinitely more interesting characters. Just because you personally do not like Sasuke does not mean he is, he does not have a part in this story. Does not mean he is a worthless addition to this story. Does not mean the problems of Naruto stem from him being included in the story. Because you know what? If, if you pick some other character that's more interesting and then the story starts focusing around them, you just turn your hate to them. Oh, everything centered around the Abarame clan. They're just sucking up chakra. They're good at everything. They just have a busted ability I'm, I'm that nobody in the right world could be. I what like can this. a Byakugan do to that? Like this. I don't like this. Hey, they're a busted clan. They are. That's why they're secret. Yep. According to Guy. Don't roll your eyes. To build stories around. Even if you think its leads are the- Hey! You can build stories yes. around them while still having Sasuke there. If you were a competent writer! They did it with Shika. You you can do it. The possibilities are there. He is not he a just, good he writer. He just womps. That's all it is. He you was, don't need to have a 10-10. He was forced to add the character, but he chose to focus on him worst characters in the world as many weebs do you can still enjoy the show because naruto has one of the strongest supporting casts out there mm -hmm. look at sai look at hinata what a mm. strong support look at cast. the almost universally hated sakura mm. so mm. we've we've got sai who is middling at best nobody's bumping sai we got Sakura, who's, who most people like. You got dislike. Hinata. Dislike. You got Hinata, who is there. She is inoffensively there. She is a waifu. You have, first and a character second. You have the pain moment and you have the last. What else you got with her? Filler. You she have, was awesome in the filler. That she was. But that was filler. You got Naruto, titular character, and you got Shiga, universally loved almost. So... You showcasing this, and again, the, the editing has not been banging. I'll say, yeah. it ain't been. But you know what's banging? <laughs> As anyone who's watched my videos for more than ten minutes knows, I'm not exactly the best at remembering character names, especially not in Japanese. Sure. But looking back, no, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm the exact same way. I remember characters. I remember moments. I remember character traits. I, I tape guy. You know, you know who I'm talking about when I say tape guy. Yes. You no, know, doesn't it? Doesn't we, didn't mean, we didn't know there were 20 people in the, our hero yeah. classroom a name because they don't have actions or moments or anything. So it is. I'm not going to be begrudge somebody. I couldn't remember Jackie Tristan, mm -hmm. a completely normal meme is dead. A completely normal American name. Hey, I love Akutsu San. Ask me to name her friends. Don't it, it's fine to not remember stuff. Back at Naruto, years after I last serious. Hey, uh, that manga and hated Megumi Chan. Ask me what the male character, main character's name was at this point. Couldn't tell you. Probably couldn't remember Megumi if it wasn't in the in title. It do be like that. It do be like that watched it, I'm amazed to note just how many of the characters I can remember off the top of my head. From I Kiba remember them so oh. clearly their clap. From Kiva to Shino to Rock Lee to whatever to what you're just gonna name characters and just go. It's such a rich, rich tapestry of of a flowing characters with all these interweaving and all these buzzwords, and then you're gonna move on. Oh no, no. Unlike Bleach, then move yeah, on. Yeah, tell me this character's name or this character. And then move on. To Shikamaru, to Choji, to Rock Lee, especially Rock Lee, every one of the younger ninjas from Konoha manages to leave a deep and lasting impression on you as a viewer. Pause. And the Choji, really? Butterfly. Butterfly wasn't even hype when I was Honey, a kid. Baby. 
Come what, on, lady. Come, it come wasn't lady. even hype as a kid. Cause it's it was nothing. Yeah, that's that's the crazy part. Even when we were big Naruto boys, it's it was that like, Chochi was always. I remember when we uh, watched the in top five fights. <laughs> I think it Chochi, was there. Uh, we were like, what the fuck? Sucked. Same goes for teachers like Kakashi and Mike Guy. Too named! <laughs> Especially Mike Guy. They boast such striking designs coupled with strong, memorable personalities that even as a casual fan, I can't get them out of my head. Oh, and you, you're not a you casual not fan that? if you watched all the episodes and or read all the chapters and are creating a video sponsored by the series that you're currently talking about that you've been wanting to make for a while. I think he means if I were a casual fan, I could see their striking design and what jizz over them or whatever he said. The but same again, the captains in in Bleach. Yes. What is he saying that is unique about Naruto? Who is saying that Kakashi's design is not striking nor memorable? Because this is about why is Naruto better than you think it was. So I you're just saying, I, hey, Kakashi design. You're you're just saying, hey, Kakashi's design is cool. Yes. Who who's saying the opposite? I'm not a design person. I don't really care for designs or anything. I'm not saying it is cool. And I'm not saying it's lame. I'm mean, like, yeah, whatever, it's cool. Whatever. I personally find it cool. I personally find it lame. It's just it's there's just, some hype out there. It's just whatever. Yo, but this isn't proving nor disproving any point. Can a clothes company contract? Um, Kubo to do some in nah. fits because those cover fits they do are a hundred for a hundred. Nah, that's fan. I can't get them out of my head. And the same goes for the villains. Haku and Zabuza were nothing, the Emperor Pilaf equivalent before the start of the main event. But years later, I still vividly remember. You the remember and Emperor Pilaf? Yeah. Decades later, you compared them. Yep. Emperor Pilaf, it was essentially a joke character. He had threatening moments, sure. But Haku and Zabuza were about to kill the main cast several times. They had con to construct wide-ranging plans to not be killed. It wasn't just like, hey, put them in a room and then that lock the door. Lock the door. <laughs> Get them, put them in a tickle machine and crap like that. No, it is, you will now drown in my water bubble prison. Hey, let me cut off the head of this child. That was the plan. What do you that mean, peel off like? He must simply mean the first villain yes. of the... But that's not... Whatever. Arc of the show. Kishi yep, first arc of the show. Kishi does a great job with characterizing these characters in a way that characterizes their characters. And on top of that, the initial first arc is typically not showcasing someone of such memory, but this first arc initially striking with the designs of the characters and the characterization of the characters strikes you initially for the first arc. And in the theme, okay, <laughs> five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. <laughs> Iconic <laughs> moments. Oh, five uh, seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Naruto online. Oh, five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> of that arc of the show. Kishimoto was able to bring them back later in the series, and the moment had a genuine emotional impact, serving as a reminder of how far the protagonists have all come. Hey, yeah, if you introduce the first the first characters again, the first antagonist at the end of the story, if and, uh, Hand Demon came back at the end of Demon Slayer, it'd still be like, Yo, look how far we've come. You're, that means zero. Did you read the chapter, the One Piece chapter? Of course I did. I so. felt so unbelievably bad for Foxy. <laughs> because of the chapter. He's, he's just some bum now. Yes. They ain't eating. He's in a dumb little <laughs> shit, but he still got his face on it. But I'm like, no, Foxy. No, and you deserve better. They, they, they 
survived for two plus Come years. On. They're not thriving, but they're surviving. I don't like that. And it doesn't look like he has much of a crew no. left. No. And he doesn't even have Luffy's Jolly Roger. What, what happened? <laughs> so that dumb joke character <laughs> came back. Who had no emotional resonance. <laughs> Nothing. He was just some. In dumb one of the most joke. hated arcs of One Piece, one of the least highest rated ones. And I felt bad for him because he's not doing good. But I also <laughs> felt happy for him because his two crewmates still stuck with him. Still love him. Buggy's turned on him in a heartbeat like, oh, yeah, it's all you, Bug. Oh, no, we I'm came slipping back. out the back before they knew I was here. <laughs> but these two months, yes, whatever, but this isn't a unique thing to Naruto. A villain coming back and then recontextualizing their story or whatever, it happens. What a, What the f ever? That's no easy feat for a series oh, this long. Oh, never mind. It's no easy feat. Two panels. Two. There was no big crying, I actually loved you, Haku, boo -hoo. we'll see each other in the afterlife. Or maybe not, because you're going to heaven, because you were so awesome killing those people righteously, or whatever. No, it was just this dumb fraudster who's a broke boy. He does not deserve better. <laughs> he ran amok of Luffy, ran afoul of some other people probably, and now he ain't nobody. But I feel bad for him. Because I personally like him. <laughs> it means nothing. Long and this packed with characters to pull off. If Bleach tried to revive an arc villain for an emotional... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Emotional payoff like that? I genuinely have no idea who it even was. Cool. I personally don't like Bleach, so if a, a character came back in the future, I personally wouldn't care about them. Oh, great. And that speaks to why Naruto is great, because I love Naruto. I really like Naruto, and I remember the characters from the beginning. This thing that I don't like wouldn't move me if something happened like this. I would, I would suspect I, not. I would hope not. This is not a, a slam dunk in Naruto's favor. You are not teabagging Bleach by saying this. You have mentioned... This is the ultimate... Your series bad, so my series good. Because yes. he isn't just going unlike other series. He is strictly pointing to the worst, quote-unquote, of the big three and going, Naruto's better than this. This is this is the opposite of Rash plays. <laughs> 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 But they were just like, hey, hey, Bleach, Bleach. <laughs> stop talking about Bleach. But he's, he's just like, stop talking about Naruto. Look, talk about Bleach. That's the bad thing, y'all. This thing has like eight minutes left. Unbelievable. Even if they just straight up use the text box to explain what was happening. Hell, there are... That's you. Yes. You should give Naruto more credit, I guess. Because it's you. You should Much. give Bleach more credit. I wonder if he does give Bleach more credit these days. Did he hype Beast? Uh, yeah, did he hype Beast the we thousand know, we, year we know blood the answer war? To this, homie. We know what's up. We know what our boy is. Thousand year blood war. It's not really about the Quincy's. Much shorter shows where they bring a character back from a few episodes ago, and I can't tell if they're supposed to be new or not. What are you talking about? Are you simply Please. talking about um, be Sword Art Online? He made a um, the problems with Bleach video mm -hmm. a year ago. Oh, maybe he's still a, a Bleach suck boy. Friday night of my second year of high school. Okay, Back great. Fantastic. Uh, the first part, which is nine minutes, is the decline of Bleach, a personal journey. 
the problems with Bleach a shameless hey, fake out. Hey, um, the decline of Naruto. What was the second one? Um, the problem with Bleach a shameless fake out. A one minute and thirty second Rosetta Stone ad. But you know what won't fake you out? <laughs> the actual genius of Bleach a shallow deep dive something something. All that anti-hype. To put it mildly, I was completely blown away. Bleach is easily one of the best shonen manga I've ever read, and most of the criticisms I had against it were clearly either created or greatly exacerbated by the anime, or simply misconceptions born from my own incomplete perspective on the story. So Think about this wow. while he's constantly shitting on Bleach right now. Wow. Now, it is to be lauded that yeah. he has ad admitted his faults and Recognized his personal them. biases and is now speaking on those things. But my you 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 are simply pissing on bleach and just like yo but Naruto though. You still doing the thing. Dang, who pissed on you? Oh poor baby boy. Let's get you a nice shower. Ma I you we can still talk about the fact that you did the thing, even though you repented. Now, you might have noticed that I haven't talked much about the girls in this show, and unfortunately that's because there's not a lot to talk about. They all have incredibly cute designs, but they're also all profoundly superficial yeah. and forgettable. I honestly couldn't tell Pause. you a... But you said that Naruto had one of the best no, side but characters. only only for the, the guys that I like. Don't clip that single difference between Ino and Sakura that doesn't involve their hair. Every girl has one special power gimmick and one heightened emotion, and that's basically the extent of their character development. The two exceptions are Tsunade, who has the shonen anime default woman personality of big boobs and drinks a lot, and Hinata, who has the... You're not even talking about Sakura? No. Her personal growth? No. D dude, this is disgusting. Yes. What could Hinata provide more than a Sakura? She's shy and kawaii. This is this is Nezuko before Nezuko. Yes. She is pure anime waifu. She'll love you unconditionally. Even if you're up. Even if everybody else hates you. Hooray. This fascinating inferiority complex and a genuinely cute crush on Naruto. And hallelujah, one huge thing that Naruto has going for it is that best girl Hinata does actually win out in the end. Not that I want to double down on shitting on Bleach here, but there- Keep in mind, one of the best show that he's ever read. Just keep that in mind, y'all. There's a but, lot of- But he said that he let the anime color his view of what was actually going on. Mm -hmm. But here he goes, yeah, the anime kind of cheeks, but, but he was able to look over the anime to look at the thoughts of shows that could do with some of that. The characters are definitely a huge part of Naruto Online's appeal as well. Oh, this. Oh, I it's can like see a slip and slide. I can see why Naruto Online contracted this man. <laughs> Mom got the smoothest transition in, in history. Well, the game lets you take pretty much any character you like from the show itself into battle alongside you, all with distinctive animations and authentic voice clips that help make you feel like it's the real deal. And this even includes minor side characters like Iruka-sensei. If you have a favorite, there's a good chance that they're in here. And you aren't just limited to following the story of the show either, though of course the main quest of the game sees you taking your own so, original name. So is good that you can explore the world and do things outside of the actual story. Mm -hmm. But when the actual story does it, it's not good that you're getting essentially filler. Yeah, he said it works in the game that it doesn't really work in a... No, 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 no that doesn't... It works in the game because I say it works in the game. Yes, and isn't that a reason why it works in the game? Yes, but it's not a good reason. Mm, who said anything about a good reason? No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm simply... 
uh, saying that he's okay, not a you're good reason. You're adding all these caveats after the fact. a reason, and, but not a you were, good reason. You are you're incorrect. I'm simply just saying. Your character through that. Naruto Online has plenty in the way of dungeons to explore and bosses to fight, either solo or alongside friends. And uh, you can... what happened there? <laughs> Did you not cut the clips up? Right? Did he not throw it on the timeline the way you wanted to? I'm so sick of this in game. Oh, yeah. uh, Naruto Online. <laughs> Do so with the Ninja Dream Team of your choosing. Of course, Look, there did you is see the more frame? To- <laughs> just now, it just skipped. Just in the low budget game, two frames per second. Get out of here for an online game, a browser game. Take into consideration when building your squad, then how much you like a given character's personality. At the start of the game, you create a ninja who can specialize in any of the five elements and either genjutsu, ninjutsu, or taijutsu. And if you want to succeed in battle, you're going to want to balance your party choices around your main ninja's specialties. The look of your character is somewhat predetermined, limited to five preset designs for the sake of saving money on animation, but the ability to customize his or her combat abilities is surprisingly robust. And while you might think it would be awkward to shoehorn an original character into the proceedings, the game does a pretty damn effective job of writing around you. All writing strengths aside... Swallow that spit! (laughs) Writing around you! (laughs) Gotta swallow this shit! (laughs) I'm a lore! Jutsu, the unique ninja magic that the various characters use to fight, is definitely the... Didn't even happen! Didn't even happen. We back, baby. Dude, smoothest man in history. I'm I'm shocked he got a sponsorship a year into his thing. That's pretty good. Biggest thing that Naruto the show has going for it. You can't deny that it has some rad ass fights as a result of these powers. The rule of cool is a very important factor in any fighting anime. And Jutsu- I don't I don't think so. I would mm-hmm. prefer logic to the rule of cool. Yes. For I, the most part. I, I just going, hey, cool. That is not enough for me. I feel like it is if it's mostly a gag manga. No, absolutely. There are t- times where it's like that. But the times where it is like that are so few and far between in, in, in relation to the times where it's not like that. One Punch Man is pretty okay, y'all. Pretty okay. Foxy versus Foxy. Foxy. Yeah, Foxy. Foxy. Foxy versus Luffy was the rule of cool. Hey, awesome. Uh, Frankie versus um, uh, Pink was just, yeah, it wasn't a, a high I team mind bending. No, it was just, I'm going to punch you and then you're going to fall. I didn't fall, but now I'm going to punch you and you're going to fall. Well, I didn't fall either. Well, all right, we're turning to suplexes. Oh, they're both so manly. And I'm like, yes, they are. So so that does happen. But you know, but that's not even a rule of cool because the, the logics of their power still works yeah. within that fight. It's not like we're throwing logic out the window for this cool factor to take place. Um, Senior Pink was able to do the big suplex because of his, his already established power, and he recognized that Frankie's back was not mechanical, so he used that to his advantage in order to. So yes, that does make sense in terms of what happened at the end of the fight, and then he realized that even though he used all that he had, he still couldn't beat him, and he accepted his defeat. Fantastic stuff there. Not just rule of cool. I rescind that are incredibly cool and not okay. just visually cool Great. like the stupid over-designed swords from Bleep. Yeah. Now I can't hear. Yep. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. We can uh, hang it up. <laughs> Wee woo. <laughs> go back a little bit. Yeah. How much longer is this in video? Well, you can go forward a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Almost six minutes left. What are we doing out here? cool and not just visually cool like the stupid over-designed swords from bleach and yeah and sword out online yeah bleach boo over-designed sword what's what's ichigo's sword it is a big sword there's a lot of big sword there's a lot of small sword i i guess renji's sure 
But Byakuya's sword, isn't it just a sword yeah, with some I think, wrapping? I think most people's swords are just swords. They're a little thinner, they're a little thicker. Um, I'm gonna look up all Zom Pacto Zom. Zom Zan Pacto. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. Um, you guys have one little curved one. Uh yeah, there's just a bunch of swords. Well, there's that one. That, that one's goofy. Yeah, that's, that sucks. Uh, you can't see what we're talking about, and that's fine. You can just imagine it. Big Spike Ball, he sucks. But the, that's a it's, rapier. It's fine. It's fine for a thing weapon like that. Again, there are ones that are over designed, but you can't just have swords. Some of them need to be a little bit unique. But I, I have never thought about um, Bleach's swords as a negative. Which is oh my this is true. He just, just a it's, bleach. It's whatever Naruto is doing is doing better than Bleach, y'all. Right? SAO. Jutsu are conceptually cool. Like Mother f- with these conceptually and concepts. Swords are conceptually cool. Yes. What is your argument? Unique swords to the person that reflects their souls. What is your argument? Hands from JoJo. Each one has a ridiculously specific application and makes like your mind. The Zompok toes hey. in Bleach? He's just about to fire a fireball that does essentially nothing. And race with innovative ways to use them and beat them. He what? just spit fire. Sasuke can spit fire. One of my favorite fights in the whole series is pretty inconsequential. Oh, the the okay. one of the only good fights in the series. I was I thought he was gonna say Lee and Gata. If you were to give me if you were to tell ask me what the top ten fights of Naruto are, I would struggle after six. Not because because they would be the best fights of Naruto, but I'd struggle to find the good fights to put in ten. Yeah, it it just after that point it would just be I need ten. And so, I recognize this is better than the other bad ones. This is not necessarily good, but here we are. Battle between Tamari and Shikamaru during the Chunin exams. But despite the lack of dramatic stakes, it builds on what's happened before in some really cool ways and has some very creative applications of both characters' powers. Tamari just swung the wind! The whole thing is basically a waiting game. Tamari has this extremely powerful ability to keep enemies at bay by controlling the wind, but Shikamaru has the equally dangerous ability to control people's bodies simply by touching their shadows. Whoever slips up first is in for a world of hurt, and time is on Shikamaru's side as the setting sun casts longer and longer shadows for him to manipulate. It's a test of wits, with two characters going back and forth, hatching new plans to catch each other off guard. Oh, and could sure. he not walk forward? He could. But he would also be outside of the... He's in the big line. So does he have all that shadow to manipulate? Because surely that would be further. Doesn't matter. But he's talking about this one. You cannot say this about Lee and God. No, of course not. You can say this about this. You cannot say this about Choji versus Fat Guy. I, uh, no. Uh, you, you can say, you can say it about Neji versus uh, Spider Guy. You can't say it about Neji Naruto. You can't say it about Neji Naruto. You can't say it about Naruto Sasuke. I'll give you uh, Naruto Kiba. Naruto Kiba is a good, good fight. Yes. Honestly, might be my number two fight in the entire series. Eh, maybe number three after. No, I think Shikas was an um, emotional one, but I don't think it's necessarily a great fight. But you can't say this about many fights in Naruto. Every time Tamari thinks that she has Shikamaru figured out, he surprises her. But she's quick to react and reformulate her strategies. And her quick wit proves to be an even match for his careful planning. At least up to the point where it's revealed that Shikamaru was thinking ten steps ahead all along. He eventually catches her by chasing her over to a hole in the ground, a small tunnel created in Naruto's previous fight. Yeah, we, we saw the series. Yeah. Fight with Negi and sending the sh- We didn't see this fight, though. Um, so, I was thinking of 
characters who are named like uh, Maggie, Magi, all that. No, it's always when it's a J, it is the sound of a J. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Not no, Maggie. No, uh, Magi, I think, is a M A G I. I was net. I can't even pronounce it on the one. I can't even do the joke. Cause my mind defaults to Neji. <laughs> Cause that's what it is. The dub was out back then. Yeah, this is crazy. This is post end of Naruto. This is seven years ago. Muff is speaking hard in USA English. He might be Canadian. But this month, not a hint of an accent. Come on now. It's the character's name. This is really not hard. Again, Mr. Mista, uh, 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 the N one in, in part five. <laughs> in person. <laughs> in person. Uh, uh, uh Narancia. 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 Okay, you're reading it. You don't know what it, how it sounds. The anime came out like three years ago. I'll forgive you. Um, uh, Persona Five. I'm not gonna default anybody for going. Hey, that's uh, on Tamaki or however the however and whatever botch pronunciation of their last name that they gave her and Ryuji. I'm not gonna fault people Tom for that. Tamaki. Cause that's the way that they said it. Ain't na- not a single person said Nike or whatever. <laughs> Maybe he's thinking like negative. So nag and then the I. I, if I'm gonna make a video like this mm-hmm. and I've purely just read the manga, I would research how you would say it. Two is not look, look a, a fool. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I was literally going to say a, a fool. Because that's what it is. Shadow through there to grab her. So few shonen anime take advantage of their environments and... Compl- no, don't, don't. That's <laughs> one of the ones. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Wow, one fight it done. Bleed. It's, and again, this is a... Other shonen don't do this. Uh, this is good because <laughs> this isn't those things. Dragon Ball did it. Yu Yu Hakusho did it. One Piece did it. Uh, 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 I think Bleach did it. Bleach did do it. Flame of Record did it. Flame of Record did it. Yu Gi Oh did it. Kaiba said, "I'll I'll and die. <laughs> kill me. Yep, yeah, the shockwave is gonna kill me. Let's see it, Yu Gi." <laughs> Dio was like, ah, I made you punch me over here so that I could get your grandpa. That's seven off the top of my head. Popular shows. No, uh, not, not many, many, but <laughs> Sailor Moon did. Cowboy Bebop did. Try Good did. What Wally, is he talking Wally about? Is bouncing off the ropes. The f- are we talking about? What doesn't do this? And like you said, this happens maybe twice in Naruto. Continuity in this way, especially during tournament arcs, where the expectation is that the arena will be totally flat and things will reset between rounds. It's this sort of lateral thinking that makes the fights in Naruto so exciting. Fights. Plural, multiple, singular, sir. Did we need an upskirt on a 16-year-old girl? <laughs> yes. Oh. For obvious Look at, look at Asu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a terrible <laughs> That man is currently on a list somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got out the clink just for this. I'm happy I was born. Oh, I'm about to go back in for one of them. <laughs> Eyes draw right to it. <laughs> Don't go nowhere. <laughs> what the? F- what is this? <laughs> hey, maybe this isn't the best <laughs> overlay for the guy. So he was done dirt on this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> awesome! What are you doing? Hey, he, maybe he deserved to die. Maybe he was <laughs> secretly <laughs> a monster. <laughs> Akoski on a different list. <laughs> Like nah, you we're gonna we're just gonna this is a freebie. <laughs> is he is he one of the Jin Cure? He no. Hey, check the back of the list. <laughs> oh yeah, check Mary. the other list. Oh, <laughs> uh, he can't be on that one. Oh, oh hmm. hey, you know you know how it go, dude. <laughs> we've got we've got proof. We've got factual proof evidence right here. <laughs> <laughs> Just Chris Hansen. <laughs> 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 I would explain. I was just here. I was. I. I was just here to show her some jutsu. <laughs> 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 Did you say you wanted to show her your shuriken? <laughs> well, not, not metaphorically. It was. A, I have tools. <laughs> yes, you say that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have these tools now? I mean, I always carry them. <laughs> well, I can't. <laughs> I don't know what you expect to happen here, Awesome. <laughs> My goodness. At least to a point. Part of why the fight with Haku and Zabuza is so memorable is Haku's unique ice release jutsu that allows him to dash between ice mirrors yes. at super speed. Yes. And what was done? Naruto went raw and broke them. Mm -hmm. Before that, what was done? Sasuke went, I'm going to unlock my hereto mentioned legendary of clan technique to be able to, to lock in on him at such a level that I could not do this before. So I'm just gonna unlock my ability and do this thing. Sonic there, what, what was the thought before this time? Not only is the image of a masked figure striking from a cage of mirrors cool, it also gets you thinking about potential ways he could be defeated. But yeah, with the Ra. Yeah, why, how was he defeated? Uh, the fox within him went raw, and then he broke the mirrors and grabbed them and punched them. And, and then he went, well, I kind of want to die. Naruto takes him out simply by hulking out and overwhelming him with force. And while that moment is exciting and gives us a glimpse as to why Konoha might have legitimate reasons to fear Naruto, it's unfortunately indicative of what the series eventually becomes. No, it's what it always was, because mm -hmm. this is the first arc, and it happened here. Yeah. It was never not this thing, basement. It was, it was always this. How was he able to do this forbidden jutsu? Because of his overwhelming chakra. I think Naruto is at its strongest when most of its characters are ninjas in training. Because the more powerful how they get... How is this ninja? Well, how is... Let's say how is Sasuke and his, and his super eyes ninja? Because this is what he was railing against. The more jutsu they learn, the less creative each ninja has to be in order to win. Yeah, because this is super creative right now. Early Naruto is very Jojo-esque, with each combatant having clear advantages and disadvantages. He did the raw! What was Haku's disadvantage? Every time in the summer, the f***ing bugs. Yeah, that is what it is. But what was Haku's disadvantage? You said clear di advantages and disadvantages. What was Zabuza's? A wide swing, I guess, with his sword that cannot be beaten. It can't be beaten. It actually can't be beaten. Just to work around. But as the show goes on, it loses much of that thoughtfulness and creativity. Pain, Pain's almighty push has a four or five second cooldown. I believe something like that. That is a disadvantage. He the is dying, so he can't um, overuse his abilities. Ninjas bust out new bullshit special powers every time they're cornered. That's literally what happened in the Haku Zabuza fight. Naruto has a two people did it a limited amount of time with his sage mode. That is a disadvantage, and he only has two more um, on the back end that he can use. That is a disadvantage, is it not? This was a stat. It's a limitation. It's a limitation. But it was established that this is what Sage Mode is, this is what it can do. I've got two on the back end. Turning fights into childish games of nonsensical one-upsmanship. And all That's what Gara and Lee was. Yes. A hundred percent what it was. And don't pretend like it wasn't. 
because Cockroach just goes, yeah, he's uh he's reinforcing his skin with more sand. When he was punched, the sand started crumbling, and then he just started. Just like, yeah, he's uh so once he gets punched, he just got sand around his face, so the sand takes the impact. Never established. When would it be established? Because he was never hurt before. Well, it wouldn't have obviously, but he did pull that out out of nowhere, and then it doesn't work against Sasuke. And with kaiju battles between huge summoned monsters that are, for the most part, thoroughly unimaginative. And hey, uh, that was literally the third fight. I meant the third arc. Mm-hmm. And this happened. Um, it didn't happen in um, Rescue Gata. Didn't happen against uh, Hidan nor Kakuzu. It happens here. Um, it there was like three summons in outside of the Ten Tails fight. There's like three summons and the um uh Susano. I guess you could say the Susano. Get the f- out of here. Again, yeah, get the f- out of here with that. Pretty boring. There are definitely echoes of what of the series. But can you say how are we gonna defeat this giant monster? Is interesting. Yes. When that's, you're a bunch of tiny people. That's basically uh the Vegeta fight in the Saiyan arc. You can't just say it's boring and not explain why it's boring to you personally. You may not find that thing interesting. I don't find Godzilla versus Kong interesting. Yes. No. Because it's, I've, I've said this before. Two giant things. There's essentially no difference between two giant things fighting and two um, regular sized things fighting. It's just the scale of it. It means nothing that they're huge. Big thing versus small thing, you can make that interesting because how do we defeat him? Do we trip him? Do we uh, get his legs, eyes, whatever? Strats versus... Uh, <laughs> yeah, there, there's strategy there and you can make that interesting. Once was, and the fights are still fun for the most part, but not in the same way as the early stuff. And Okay, things can be fun in different ways. A water park is not the same as an amusement park. They're both fun in different ways, but they're both fun. Is this less fun? Is it as fun? Is it more fun? That's what you should be talking about. Coupled with the story bloat, it really hurts Shippuden. I'm in this to see fights between clever ninjas, not almighty wizards. Then why are you watching Naruto? Yeah, from the jump, it was never this. Don't act like it was. Um, Sasuke goes... Um, I've got the Sharingan, so I can see his attacks and react. And then Lee goes, yeah, but I can kick faster than you. So you can't. And that was his answer to that. <laughs> so you can't. <laughs> <laughs> has enough in common with Harry Potter already. I should talk about that in another video. But... That element of creativity doesn't necessarily have to be lost because Naruto's striking visual elements and creative action scenes have one other huge benefit. The series lends itself very well to video game adaptations. Well, this is a different video game. Okay. Um, I probably experienced You did more... Harry Potter anime knockoffs of history. That's that worthless. That seems to be it. Worthless. Of Naruto's story through Namco, Bandai, and CyberConnect's fighting games than I have through the show or manga. It's so much fun to think through each fight on your own and come up with your own counterplays to each jutsu. You're no, you do not with a hand fake in your mind when all you're doing is mashing buttons until your button's stronger or more than other buttons. If you're Sakura and Itachi, and you're facing Itachi and he does a fireball jutsu, what jutsu can you do to counter that? You can block it, or you can um substitute jutsu. You can, it's not like you can just go, oh, my triangle circle will counteract. No, that's not how that works. As a browser game, Naruto Online offers a simplified JRPG-esque take on ninja combat. This but- is insane. <laughs> For ad reads in this, this video. Is I would say egregious. <laughs> It's one every five minutes. One that can be quite enjoyable. If you turn off this the game's auto battle... This is quite enjoyable. <laughs> it's got a fairly earthy take. <laughs> oh. <laughs> which is mainly there for ultra casual players there's a surprising amount of fun to be had in trying to maximize the a surprise <laughs> I, I, I know this looks boring <laughs> and i know i haven't been selling this well but it is a surprising amount of fun to be had <laughs> is it a lot 
Well, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Is it a little? Oh, you won't be that surprised. <laughs> the effectiveness of your squad. Fighting aside, Naruto's twisted, filler-laden storyline lends itself extremely well to condensed retellings in video game form. And if you're feeling nostalgic for Naruto after watching this video, Namco Bandai is providing a solid way to re-experience that plot for free in Naruto Online. Plus, Pause. you can go- Is this for free or is this for free? That is a good question. That is a very good question. Uh, maybe I'll check out the link. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, what uh, happens when you click the link? Oh, nothing. Oh, viruses. <laughs> it just says um, it fails to find the script for Naruto English. That mu This. He said this was Namco Bandai, didn't mm -hmm. he? Okay, because I'm like, is this an official or is this just some of uh, tug collar? <laughs> Yeah, I've got you. I can do this with, with no own. repercussions. It's when you uh, see a bunch of those ass for like high seas pirates. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some clearly China game. <laughs> or that mom that was just modding Nintendo games. Yeah. He just go, Nintendo has come for me. <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite quote. And it's just there. It's just, he's just typing as they're outside. Ah, they finally come for me. We all knew Friends, we knew this day would come. <laughs> log Nintendo, out, log out, log out. <laughs> Nintendo has come for me. <laughs> ninja adventures with either your real friends or fake ninja friends if you're lonely like me. Yeah, like every Naruto arc ever, this video ended with a message about friendship. And you too can experience friendship as well as some fun- This is some DSP stuff. Where he would type in the Muxy link on oh, screen yeah. and just like, am I meant to type this in, Philip? Is this what I'm supposed HTTPS colon slash slash Muxy dot two six capital B Phil? Stop! <laughs> you f in ah! <laughs> and Saturday. every day, Saturday, we get a new mother trying to get it to Phil. And every Whoops. day, and then we get blamed for it somehow. They're they're so mad every time. And we get blind. I don't understand it. Million pointed it out, dude. We are like, hey, Phil sucked. But my guy, he did the funniest in the world. But it's leading. It's it's the old adage of you can lead a water the horse to water, but you can't make him drink. We're going, here's the water. You do what you want with the it. The water is poisonous, but it tastes really good while you're drinking it. Ignore it. I, a lot of detractors talk about this other dude uh, named King Cobra. Mm -hmm. And I'm not interested in that dude at oh, all. Oh, yeah. Um, peace will do him sometimes after Phil Street. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, oh my God, this is just some I like Sonic guy. Soul when he does Sonic Soul, but... That dude, yeah. It's, no. like, it's just some weird guy. I'm skipping. Making I, mead or something. Yeah, <laughs> making like Skittle juice or and making weird burgers and stuff. I'm like, this is just some weird guy that I'm not super interested in. So I'm skipping it. So you could also do that. It is easy to just, hey, this ain't for me. I'm skip. But we have a but, lot of people but, that do that. But watch Phil stuff because that's the best stuff. To us, at least. No, to a lot of people. I, I, I can't listen to too much of that cat stream because it, it's too much. Dude, <laughs> it's mean. It was but, so vicious. But corn. Oh, she didn't like that. And corn I, was there. Oh, I ain't like that. That will always get me. <laughs> yeah, corn was there. Oh, and I ain't like that. <laughs> It, but it is too mean. <laughs> it's such a mean stream. Dude. And you can just hear the turn where it's just little tiny, just like, oh, test my progress. And then it's just like, well, we're here now. So. And legitimately gorgeous artwork by giving Naruto Online a shot. You can do so by following the link on screen or at the top of the doobly-doo. Or if all the talk about fun anime fights got you pumped, then you might get a kick out of my analysis of the Deep Sea King fight from One Punch Man. And of course, if you You've clearly, this to me, not shown that you are um, capable of 
analyzing fights or anything, really. Yes. I would not trust you to analyze something else. If I liked Naruto, I would think that you have not done a sufficient job in analyzing it such that I have a greater appreciation for Naruto. If I was a fan, you've not done that. that one and you want to keep seeing more like them be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to catch everything i put out thanks for watching and special thanks as always to my wonderful and supportive patrons you guys are the best he was a patron boy year one joji mcmagic man (laughs) jogi mcmagic Snake eyes! <laughs> pussycat! Pussycat! Plus. <laughs> Somebody was just like, oh, when, when uh, YouTubers read their Patreons at the end of the video. <laughs> Snake eyes! <laughs> Piano teeth! I don't know why, but Pussycat! <laughs> pussycat! <laughs> pussycat puss! I don't know why Pussycat puss! <laughs> It kills me every time. Pussycat! Pussycat! Because it's clear. <laughs> and lip boy. <laughs> and he's got nothing for Double pussycat. Double <laughs> Man. Double header. Until next time, I'm Jeff Thu, professional shitbag, signing out from my mother's basement. Dat to buy all! I would have felt less bad for him if he just said believe it. Yeah, you didn't. But you can pronounce you that said, correctly, but not ne- Neji. Really? I would have done Believe It and Dateveo and just layered them on top of each other. Mm. 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 Oh, that's uh, a nine. negative 10. I understand it got the extra point for no, the... Yeah, no, that, that the Dateveo did it. Yes, I understand. I'm I'm letting that wash away. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a petty man. And I Understandable. I, I do not disagree with your petty aspects. Uh, yeah. We do know what we're doing. So I, oh, yeah. That was just a really bad video. Um, And this is the crazy thing because we see so many YouTuber analysis videos. I don't know what he said. Yeah. Because he, he didn't really say anything. No, he didn't. It's kind of like the My Hero video where he just said stuff. They're great friends and he's showing off and Sarah but and what else do you remember about that? Hey. It's just that. Because it was so stupid. Because that was the one part of the video I'm like, this is so stupid. Because <laughs> I only remember the stupid thing. <laughs> Obviously. Um, we need to figure out how we're doing this. Uh, we could do a video for you, which you've already said you wanted to talk about a certain video. You don't remember? You might need to revisit the last stream or whatever, or the stream before, because you were like, there's a specific field video that it had come out recently. You were like, I want to hit that up. Oh, that was the, um, that was that fake letter. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. But that's like an hour. I mean, we can do aspects of it. Yeah. Or I was, I was thinking um, something old, something new, and a food video. That sounds good. But so you got the new thing this time. I got the old thing, and we can agree on the food thing. And then, or we can even ask the stream what do they, um, what do they want to do? Because the we can do go through the DSB tries it. Because yeah. I don't think we have too many feasting with the kings left. Yeah. Um, and then on the reverse, next time you could do the old video, I'll do the new one. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, so this Saturday we're doing Phil. If you don't like Phil stuff, do not come to the stream because it's going to be all Phil. There will be no Goku T23. There will be no live. Don't ask. Anyone. Don't ask. Don't tell. <laughs> I didn't say it. Um, yeah, legitimately. This is no joke. We typically, we're like, oh, we're not going to do it. And then we're like, eh, let's do it. Unless something hits like a, f- a ton of bricks. Watch T23. That's when he does the premiere of the Tournament of Goku. Yeah. This Saturday. 
it has to be something, I mean, spectacular. Otherwise, we're not there. Yeah. 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 Every In the end of uh, the, the last Saturday of every month is yeah. field stuff. So, uh, mark your calendars for things, times you don't need to watch us if you're not into field stuff. And but fun. everybody should be into field stuff. Go back and watch the the debunk stream. That's required viewing. At required this point. viewing for ALX. Yeah, and matter of fact, if you ever think, "Hey, I, maybe I do want to get into this field thing one time," watch those. Streams. That's that's what you need to watch. You don't even need to watch from the beginning. Just click a random part of it and just watch that part of it. it gives you everything you need to know about this man. He's a piece and of at our- the time. Because it has evolved. It evolves from between interviews. I'm like, oh yeah, the tire thing did happen. Gone from my mind. <laughs> Technically, dude, legitimately, it's evolved from beginning of this year to this time of the year. The Street Fighter stuff alone was just like, I'm going to try not to get mad at people. I'm going to get mad at the game, but not the people. And then by February, it's like, you are a worthless player that cannot play fighting games. Go f- you your mother. Dur, dur. <laughs> the dur, dur. All right, I'm just timing you out because you're just in this. I don't even know what the f- you're talking about, <laughs> dude. He went nuclear last night. Nuke. I don't know what it is about. You know what it is? Street Fighter takes him back to a time when he was good at fighting games, and so, he had friends and he had people around. Him. And now he has none of those things. All he has is Street Fighter Online, and he's not good anymore. And so he cannot recapture that feeling of... Because he said that was the first time that he felt like he belonged somewhere. Mm -hmm. So he he does not have that feeling because he's sitting in an empty room with a ring like blaring in his face. Talking to legitimate wheelchairs. Dancing wheelchairs. So it's... So he does not have that feeling. And if he does have that feeling, it's just sort of twisted and warped now. Like we, the first time that you like, um, if your if your mom made a, a piece of food when you were younger, mm-hmm. and then you just go, yeah, that's that food, and then you go out to some fast food place and they have that same food, and you associate that there. It's not necessarily what you had when you were a kid, but mm-hmm. it is still that association there. Mm-hmm. But it's not the same, and you're just sort of replacing this high quality thing with a lower quality thing, and, and thus lessening lessening your lessening your memory that's and like, making you more memory. angry. Or disappointed when you thing. don't get that. Yes, it's it's a lot to talk about with Phil, and, and it's so funny because he's like, "Oh, I've got no place to go to play fighting games offline." Yes, you do, and he has locals around him. All he would need to do is look them up. Yeah, you have a vehicle. You have you have legs. He has so many. I was I was taking my monitor and PS4 on the bus to a local, and then walking a mile to get to the actual venue uphill. <laughs> In the snow. (laughs) And this mother can't get in his legitimate vehicle. Doesn't need to bring nothing but himself in a controller. Mm -hmm. Because he knows it's exposure that he is no longer the person he was Mm -hmm. in those days. Because people are fiending for getting Phil out in the wild. Yeah, because he's so he's so weird. He's so, and that's the best field content is when he's interacting with other people or other quote unquote normal people. Yeah, it's just not in the wild. We just go, oh look at him, Ugh. look at him walk. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want Phil to start going to locals. He's never going to. He's never going to because he can't dur and mouth jewel you when you're right next to him and. All and, those tactics are gonna, he's yeah. gonna get busted open. And you're losing an excuse out the gate because you don't have the lag, you don't have PS2, I mean PS5, uh, PC, you don't have any of the connections, doesn't work offline, catch me outside, how about that? You don't have none of that. You, you just, just got, got somebody you next to you. And you, and your skills. And you'll quit. And it's so funny. I, I know I keep saying it's so funny because you know Combo Breaker's going on this weekend. And people are going to be like, hey, this character, this person won. 
Why are you telling me I don't give a f about fighting games? I don't care about combo breaker too. <laughs> but he, but that's the same thing where he goes, I don't care about the Super Bowl. But he has a Super Bowl event. Why wouldn't Phil restream the 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 top eight of Street Fighter Six and give his insight into what's going on? I was gonna say that he doesn't really have insight into characters that he doesn't play. So if like a Luke versus a Ken, mm -hmm. he can't really say anything. But he goes when LTG was when they showed LTG game footage. LTG was playing Kimberly, I think. He was just like, I want to coach LTG and tell him what he's doing right and wrong and stuff. I'm like, you don't play this. Well, what what are you gonna say? You don't play this character. So it might just who knows. Saturday. 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 Boys, it's yeah, this, late. This is one of our longest videos in quite a while. Regular revisited. Get us the f out of here. Uh, that's a that's a we will see y'all in um two weeks because go to the field stuff, but don't because you know obvious reasons. obvious reasons. I need it. I need to emo, but I, it's hard. Especially since you hit it out the park with that first one, but, but I can't so do it. Bad. I can't. It's, and the mom's just like, it's not that bad. It's like, what are y'all? <laughs> Obviously, they it's they not, expected a and Jigaboo to be hanging. The 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 old school Looney Tunes, big old Sambo lips, <laughs> and and the buck teeth, yeah. hat, straw hat, Asian man. It's these horrible caricatures. It's like. It's something a little more unique than that, but and it's, it's also horrible. And like you said, the chopstick. <laughs> over the top, dude. I remember when, Turk, when I first heard a uh, show on Turk, he was like, are those in chopsticks? <laughs> it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. And I wasn't even done with it. But I just went, I gotta stop. There's no place Maybe to go. Maybe I've from here. gone too far in a couple places. <laughs> uh, uh, the second we will, and the last we will, the final, forever, the penultimate. We no, that that's the uh, second, second to last. Yep. Yeah. The the omni we will. 